Okay, Bismillah, today I will show you how you can do this. <coughs> okay, so um, you have to download this app called Blender first. So just type on Blender, open this. Click on download and then um, either Mac or S Windows you can choose them. Okay, so then when you download Blender, <coughs> you have to open. Uh, this will come up. Just click somewhere, and then now we have this. So you can first select everything. Press X. I think, yeah, and then delete selected objects. Then you have to go to add mesh cube. So now a cube will spawn. You can scale this up, we will have to scale this up. <coughs> yeah. So do everything uh, five five five. And then for the for the location you can see this in the middle of the ground. Um, we will put this up five meters up in the air. So now you see it perfect. Okay, so we will make this as a room. Um, you have to go right here on object mode, click on edit mode, and then select this here, uh, face select. And now you can select the faces. You can just mark both, and then press X go to faces and click here so now we have a uh, room <coughs> i don't know what type of video you, you need but i don't need this too so i can uh, click on here click x and delete and then here too <coughs> okay so now we have this plane I know we de uh, need the 3D objects and what you can do for this is you can go to Google and type in Blender Kit and then click here on this side uh, here and then click on download Blender Kit and they have a full tutorial I think is this a tutorial? Yeah, if you click on download blender click they have this tutorial right here you just have to do what uh, is done in the tutorial <coughs> okay so now when you have blender kit you can go back to object mode and this this will pop up you can make it bigger and then you can search whatever you want so uh, for me i would just search a uh, tv and then go to filter and then t uh, free first so you don't have to pay <coughs> and i will actually use something fancy like this one for the video so you just have to drag it in here so now it's really small as you can see and <coughs> it's all the way around so go uh, top right here click on TV set Can we just select everything so hold shift and then select everything and Then go here to the left on scale Now we can scale This up go here to like the last one transform and then you can rotate it if you put your mouse on the blue thing you can rotate it <coughs> and then you can also click on this blue thing and move it a bit up so it touch, touches the ground and then we can move this also a little bit back boom okay and then we can <coughs> I don't know, search up for something else like um, like uh, uh, 
human sitting. I don't know if something will pop out. Like, I don't know. Doesn't look really good. Um, yeah, so for this, because uh, right here, mm, it's not really good uh, human. We maybe like a couch. Maybe first we can search this. Okay. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I don't know, because if we want a human, I don't think we can find this, to be honest. Okay, so now, same process here, go to scale, scale this up, don't scale just the pillow, but everything. Oh, we have to mark everything, okay. Everything's collected. <coughs> yeah, now we can make it bigger. Go here to transform. You can rotate it again. Just like this. Okay. So I won't show you the rest of the human and stuff. But now we can go here top right to viewport shading. And now we will see <coughs> how the video will look. So, like first we have to put some light here, and how we can do this is go to add, and then go to light, and then go to spot, okay, and then we can move this up, this light, we can now go here to data, like the, the lamp symbol, and turn the power way up. <coughs> To like 50 okay and now we can also move this with the green or maybe here and then we can uh, make the size bigger like this we can also do the blend so it blends more naturally and yeah so that's basically for this type of light now we can just call co uh, command C and copy paste this so we have a light to here and then go all again to an add and then light and then area like select this blue thing pull this up <coughs> and this is like a ceiling lamp put this over the room just like this so the overall over i don't know and then uh, turn this way up. I can see this like a ceiling lamp. Just enough. I don't know. Yeah, now the whole room is kind of light up. Maybe you turn it a bit down. And the less the size, the more harsh are the shadows, as you can see. So if you put it really high up, the shadows get weaker but I think the default is good enough one meter size okay <coughs> and now I will show you how we can uh, put the video right here in the TV screen so first you have to click on the TV or the, the uh, iPhone or MacBook or PC or something like this and then click on material and then you can um, yeah we have to make our own material right now so you can zoom in a bit with mouse pad you can hold shift and then um, like uh, scroll the mouse pad and then remove the view okay so it's a good view and then go again hit the object mode change to edit mode select faces and then just just select the, the screen and then click on this plus click on assign click on new click on a, the name you can name it like a, 
click screen and then uh, I don't know, click assign again okay <coughs> so now we have a, a surface right here what you can do now is click on surface click on emission click on this yellow thing next to color click on image texture and then click on open and now we can uh, open like a Quran video recitation uh, um, I don't know let's just put this one here okay and then click on frames change this to like uh, 1000 and then click on auto refresh doesn't work oh my god okay so everything works now we have this uh, video and yeah okay now we are wondering wondering <coughs> how we can um, like make a video out of it so right here you can uh, turn on the start and the end uh, like 250 frames for example and this would take a long time to render uh, maybe if you have a good PC then don't uh, not but yeah okay now we will add the camera so go to again add and then camera I have to zoom out a bit take a bit wait okay so our camera is right here so we can select this blue arrow move it up and then yeah i think this like good location and now we can actually we can actually uh go to view and then viewpoint and then camera now we're in the camera and then you can click here on this uh, toggle and then whenever you <coughs> wherever you move this the camera also moves okay and if you want to change this manually, you can adjust here on the this data symbol, the uh, the the focal length, uh, but the fifty is good. Then you can click here to object, like change the rotation, um, change this rotation, and then you can also change this rotation. You can move this up and uh, to the side. You can go to the front, back. You know. You can go uh, up and down. <coughs> and yeah, because I have toggle. If I untoggle this and move my camera, then I'm out. Okay. Then you have to go again, view and then viewpoint and camera. But this is why I toggle just uh, this on, and then everything works fine. So we can just stay here, for example. And what you can do now is um, like click uh, go to go to zero uh, one, click E and then select uh, all channels I think. Okay, this doesn't do nothing. Then let's just uh, click manually here. So we set the keyframe. And then let's just go back 100 frames. And now we can move this camera like this. Yeah, we can maybe change the seed angel, move this camera. Okay, let's move it, wait. Let's move this up and then click <coughs> again on these uh, keyframes. And now we have a, like a uh, smooth animation. We can pull this a bit up. <coughs> Select every keyframe, uh, right click, and then you can uh, interpretation mode, and then like you have this animations. For example, if you click on bounce, let's see how this uh, will play, like fast, and then like <laughs> bounce a bit. So there are a lot of uh, things to play with here, but I just usually do either uh, 
like uh, this quadratic one or linear or constant like linear is really smooth so uh, yeah like linear is i think the best one and then you can do like crazy stuff like let's say 100 frames later or 200 frame uh, yeah, 100 frames later um let's just rotate this and let's just go a lit a little bit uh, nearer an image so let's uh, yeah something like this boom Maybe rotate it like this. Yeah, and then just click on keyframe again. And now we have it. So that's basically it. Uh, like this is all the basics. That's all you need. I don't think you need more than this. And then when you want to render. Like leave this, let's just leave this and uh, you have to go here to render. You, <coughs> if you have a good PC, I would recommend Cycles, but only if you have, uh, have a good PC. If not, just uh, turn on EE, VEE, -E. um, turn on ray tracing so it looks more natural and then and then go here to output and then like choose your file this is also important um, okay and then don't make this mistake we have a png change to ffmpeg video and then click on encoding click on mpeg4 and that's it no that's it leave the rest <coughs> And then when you want to render, just click here on top, left, render, and then render animation. I won't click because I don't want to render. But yeah, this is basically how you can do this uh, 3D animation. And this will render for a bit. Uh, maybe your PC will explode or something. I don't know. Yeah, so that's basically it. I hope uh, this helped. <coughs>